Hi, this is lesson number 19 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about blend if in Photoshop. In our previous lesson, exercise number 17, how to select transparent object, I introduced you the blend if feature. But in this lesson, we will go a little bit more in depth. Here I have some images opened in my screen and I will demonstrate the blend if with the different examples. Here we have beautiful bright sky with a mountain and the lake. The first thing we will understand the basics of the blend if feature. I am going to create one rectangular shape and fill with the gradient color that will match the blend if slider. So here we have gradient, click it, make sure that the linear is selected. We are going to create new layer simply click and drag by pressing shift key you can make it straight and release the mouse so here we have a gradient select and deselect in order to access the blend if feature we need to simply double click in this area of the layer or right click and click on blending options once you will click on the blending option layer style dialog box is open and if something is enabled here you can click on the FX drop down and click on reset to default list. So that area will be reset. And here we have blend if currently it is selected gray. Now we are going to work with the gray. In the other examples, we will change the color. Now basically, what is blend if? Blend if controls which area will be revealed or hidden based on the brightness level in relation to current and underlying layer. So here you can see clearly that the layer 1 is selected and the selected layer will be considered current layer. Under this we have underlying layer and the lower layer it will be considered underlying layer. Now here layer 1 is current layer and underlying layer is a background layer because it is under the current layer. So here we have gradient and if I will move the current layer slider from the dark side you can see the edge is shifted from the left side so simply we are telling to the photoshop that hide the dark part of the layer one in our image so you can see the edge is really harsh and strong if we want we can make it smooth by pressing alt key we can split this slider this way and now you can see the smooth transition it is feathered out and same thing if we will do from the bright side the edge is shifted from the right side and we are telling to the Photoshop that the bright part of the layer one hide it from the scene so to make it smooth we can just split this slider by pressing alt key now we will work with the underlying layer if we will move underlying layer slider from the dark you can see the background revealed in this area. Simply we are telling to the Photoshop that the most dark part of the background reveal on the layer one. So here you can see the area which is dark under this gradient, it is revealed. And if we will do it from the other side, this way, now we are telling to the Photoshop that reveal the bright part of this layer background layer on layer one so you can see whatever is bright on the background layer it is revealed on layer one so to make it smooth same way we can just split this slider by pressing alt and it is getting smooth this way so this is the basic concept of the blend if it works this way in relation to current layer and underlying layer so we are going to cancel this I hope you understand the basic concept. Now we will apply practically in our other images. So here we have another image. In this image, we want to select the tree. We want to extract tree from the background. So if we will select with the quick selection, somehow we can select this part, this part, but in this area, it is really difficult to access the sky. So using blend if feature in seconds, we can select the tree from this complex background. Control D to deselect. 
if the layer is locked you need to unlock it and double click here in the right side of the layer so you will get the layer style dialog box now if we will move the current layer slider from the bright side gradually the sky background is vanished from the entire image but if we want we can select the specific color so it will help photoshop to select the color more precisely and accurately if we will select here blue color now photoshop will really care the blue color only and the bright part to remove so this time if we will move the current slider back the sky is gone but of course if we will go extreme the part of the tree also it's become transparent we don't need to do that maybe this much is enough and to make it a little bit smooth we can split this slider if layer style dialog box is open automatically photoshop will select the hand tool and here if you want to access the zoom tool you can press alt key and you can see that the zoom out is with the mouse pointer now go left and right so here to make it a little bit more smooth we can separate this slider this way and then click ok the tree is really transparent and anytime you want you can customize the effect if you feel there is something remain and you want to add it double click again and you can adjust it back so here we have tree with a transparent background if I will add adjustment layer here for color only solid color we are going to add let's say simple sky color click ok and I will just bring it under this we added just solid color and if I will bring another image and keep it under this layer that will be also shown behind the tree let's switch off the background layer now if we want to select this tree we cannot access because this is a layer style blend if is layer style and photoshop considers still this area with a pixel so if i will press control key and click in this area photoshop will select the entire image so to access the tree there is a several way you can make the selection first we are going to deselect the first method is you can select this layer right click and convert to smart object still we did not go through this feature but just click on convert to smart object and now you can see in the thumb we don't have a background and if i will press control key and click this time photoshop will select only the tree in the canvas control z undo another simple way is we can duplicate first if we want to keep the original and create an empty layer over the layer zero copy i will switch off this press control key and select this both of them are selected control e merge layers you can also click here and click on merge layers now once you will merge there is no background now and we have transparent object if you want you can save it as a png and you can use in your future project as a transparent object this is one example here we have tree with the blue sky in this example we are going to type the text and that text we will send behind the tree you can see that this is a solid image jpeg image and the tree is not separated from the sky this is a part of the blue background but we are going to type text and send that text behind the tree actually the text will remain in the front but it will give impression that it is behind the tree we will use blend if feature to do that so if you are really beginner and it is very first time for you to type text in photoshop all what you have to do in the toolbox click on the t here okay once i will click and hold i will get the additional tool but leave for now we will go more in depth in our coming lesson just click on the t and bring the mouse in your canvas and click once you will click photoshop will create new layer and clearly you can see the letter t it is indicating the text and on this point if i want i can type now my desired text let's say blue sky so here we have text if you are new to type text in photoshop it is a little bit frustrating because if you will click this way it will not move the text it will select the letters to move this text just bring the mouse around the text 
you can see the double added arrow with the mouse pointer and now you can move wherever you want don't bring your mouse over the text just be around and wherever you want you can place it and if you want to select you can click and drag this way and here we have option in our control bar we can change the text color I want to make it white and even we can change the font size 196 if we want we can change here from this T if we will move the mouse left and right we will be able to increase and reduce the font size and manually you can type also another thing using move tool also you can increase or reduce the font size the text tool is selected if I will click on the move tool now we have your transform control around the text and wherever I want I can move and even we can resize it this way but once you will resize make sure that you hit enter key to get out from the transform control and anytime you want to select it back again you can even double click on this T in the layer palette double click so the text is selected so once you will double click on the word Photoshop will select the word and three time click it will select the sentence so this how we have text click on the move tool and this text is our the background let's use blend if feature to send it back so double click in this area layer style panel is open and here we are going to reveal the tree in the text so the first thing we are going to change the color if we will do directly somehow it is okay but in the tree trunk you can see the white it is still there and if we will move more it is affecting the text itself so the best way is to set the color so it will be easy for Photoshop to detect the color more precisely so we will go back and here we will choose green all right now this time if we will move this is still fine and the tree trunk the text is also disappeared to make it smooth if you want you can split this slider by pressing alt key and simply click ok now the amazing thing this is not just in this location wherever you will move this text it give impression that it is behind the tree though this layer is in the front so this type of beautiful effect you can create by using blend if let's close this in this beautiful image I am going to add little bit more brightness in the eyeball you can see the reflection in the eyes to do that we are going to create one adjustment layer click on create new fill or adjustment layer and choose curve curve is to make it bright or dark your image if I will just move it up I can make it brighter this way and come back to the layer so here we have adjustment layer curve and once you will add the adjustment layer automatically mask is added and now this is white color it is presenting the appearance of the curve meaning to say the curve effect the brightness is applied to the entire image so if we want we can invert the mask while the mask is selected press ctrl i once we inverted the mask the effect the curve effect we apply we cannot see it is hidden and we can customize with the brush tool only in the specific part so let's zoom and use the brush tool make foreground white choose some soft brush reduce the hardness all the way zero if you cannot see brush preview you can press cap locks from the keyboard and using square bracket next to the letter P you can increase and reduce the brush size white color is selected and just brush in this area and now look at this the brightness is added we don't want to make more bright around the eyeball and in this dark area we need to control the brightness as well the first thing we can do with the mask we can edit the mask switch foreground color to the black reduce the brush size and just erase from the area you don't want to see the brightness 
now we are going to control the brightness with the blend if so double click and here underlying layer we are going to move slider from the shadow so look at this if i move this side now photoshop is controlling the brightness in this dark area this brightness is coming from the curve so if i will move a little bit more it's gone but still it is really harsh we can just split this slider and now it is smooth from this side if i will move it will be controlled from the bright side and we can make it also smooth this way here we can also control the opacity and if we want we can change the opacity in our layer palette click ok if you feel the effect is really strong you can adjust the opacity once you will switch off you will see the difference before and now 65 and that is fine it is simple if we want we can duplicate the layer press alt key click and drag to the other side so this how we apply the brightness using blend if to see the difference we can press alt key and click on the image so the rest layer will be hidden before and now and still if you feel it is strong you can select the both layer by pressing control key and reduce the opacity here using same technique you can add the shining on the hair you can change the skin tone also with the blend if feature so let's close this here i have another image that is beautiful sunset and in this image i want to add a little bit strong effect from the sun over the sky and over the water but i don't want that it will affect the lower part of the image so using blend if feature we can do this accurately so the first thing i am going to add the adjustment layer brightness and contrast okay we are not going to modify anything here just go back to the layer and here we have brightness and contrast we will just change the blend mode if we want a little bit strong we can use overlay and for soft effect we can use soft light soft light is okay the effect is good it is beautiful but it is really affecting the lower part of the image the area which is dark it is getting even darker so if i will switch off this look at this here it is warm and bright but the lower part of the image is more dark so we will use blend if to protect the background from brightness and contrast so double click here in this area from underlying layer move this slider and look at this we are getting back our original background here but the effect is really strong to make it smooth we can just split by pressing alt and that what exactly we need and then click ok beautifully the effect is applied and if i will switch off only the sky and the area around the sun is warm but in this area the image is not affected anymore look at this so this how we control the brightness in the specific part of the image using blend if so these are the few examples of course it is not really everything about blend if we cannot cover all in one lesson but i am sure this will be really good start to work with the blend if you can do lot of amazing things you might never done before so that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice this all guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you